Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this 10 minute yoga class. This is uh, part two in the inversions 10 minute yoga series. This class is going to feature forearm balance, a uh, straddle splits press up into headstand, shoulder stand, moving into plow pose. So again, if you need a warm up or a longer cool down before you practice these postures, please pause and take that now. We're just gonna warm up the neck a little bit and then we will um, move into our inversions. So sit up nice and tall in a seated position, take a deep breath in, and then as you breathe out, just rock your right ear to right shoulder, chin to chest, either come halfway around or all the way around. I prefer half neck rolls, but whatever feels good to you. One more. And then come back to center. Let's just take a chest expansion to open the shoulders and chest. Take your hands behind your back. Take a deep breath in and then hinge forward. A little stretch for your hips. Bring your arms up and over the back of your head. And take a slight bend to your elbows to increase the stretch in your shoulders. And release. All right, we're gonna start in standing straddle splits, which is an inversion in and of itself. An inversion is anything where your head comes below your heart. So just come to the front of your mat. You're gonna take a big step back with your left foot and then bring your feet so they the toes are in line with the heels and your feet are parallel with the edges of your mat. All right, so bring your arms parallel to the floor. Press your palms up toward the ceiling so you can just open your chest, maybe lift your gaze, engage your legs, and then you're gonna hinge from your hips coming all the way forward. Let your head dangle down toward your mat, and then you can take hold of Piece fingers around big toes, hands around ankles. You can take your hands below your shoulders. And then just let your head dangle down. Okay, inversion number one. Your head is below your heart. Take some deep breaths here. And keep your legs active and engaged. Take one more full breath here. All right, if you wanna try the straddle press up to headstand, you're gonna make a triangle with your head and your hands on your mat. Continue to stay in your straddle position with your legs. You might need to increase the um, straddle a little bit so you can get your head to the floor. Just depends on your flexibility here and your hamstrings. Place your head on the floor. Okay, if you're not ready to press up yet, you can still practice. So what you're gonna do is just rock your weight forward onto your toes, lift your heels up. Maybe start here, just rocking back and forth, establishing your balance. Maybe each time you get a little bit higher on the toes, Really pull in on your pelvic floor, your root lock, and engage your low core. Maybe you start to float your toes up off the floor, hovering. If you feel balanced and ready, you can start to bring your feet all the way up. Maybe your heels meet, and then your toes. Try to keep your elbows over your wrists. Press up through your feet and feel free in this headstand to play with some leg variations. Be coming into splits on both sides. Maybe wrapping your legs to tree legs. On both sides.
Returning to a straddle first with control. Again, tighten up your pelvic floor. Engage your low belly slowly. Release your feet to the floor. Now position your heels behind your toes. Bring your hands forward. Lift your head up off of your mat, but stay in your forward fold. Take your hands, interlace them behind your head, and then very gently let the weight of your arms start to traction your neck. You can just gently rock it side to side. Please only practice headstands if you have a healthy, strong neck to avoid any injury or crunching. And then come up into a halfway lift. Bring your arms up off to the side. Come all the way up. And then step your foot, left foot to meet your right. Take a nice roll of your shoulders down and away from your ears. And then reach your arms up overhead. And come into a forward fold. And step back to a down dog position. Okay, so we're gonna prepare ourselves now for forearm balance. So we're gonna start first by coming into dolphin position. So you can just take your knees to the floor, make a little triangle with your forearms, interlace your hands, and then with your feet right where they are, just lift your hips up. Press your heels down. Press into your forearms. Bring your right foot towards center, and then just lift your left leg up. And switch. Lift your right leg up. Release. Separate your feet. Come back down onto your knees. Now, separate your hands. Bring your forearms now parallel to the edges of your mat. Wrists in line with shoulders. Keep your feet right where they are. Lift them up. And let's practice the same thing. Right foot to center. Lift your left leg up. Place it down. Lift your right leg up. Place it down. Release. Embryo pose. Give your shoulders a break. Rest your forehead down. If you have a wall accessible, bring your mat to the wall. You don't have to use a wall though. And if you have props accessible, bring your block and maybe a strap with you. I'll grab my strap. If you feel like you need support in your shoulders, because from your um, forearm position, your elbows slide out. You can make a loop with your strap and you'll place it around right above your elbows. Okay, the other prop that you can use in your forearm balance is a block. So if you use your block, okay, so this would be the position of your strap. Okay, so you still want your elbows your, and your wrists in one line. And this, when you go upside down, will keep your elbows from sliding out. <coughs> With your block, you would set it down on your mat and then take your hands and make an L shape. Okay, and I'm gonna tighten up my strap a little bit more so that you have that nice position with your elbows and your wrists. So it would look like this with your props. Okay, if you don't wanna use your props or one or the other, that's fine as well. So if you're using your block, you're just gonna place it against the wall. Make that position with your hands and your elbows. And just like we practiced away from the wall, come into your dolphin position. 
Now, okay, from your dolphin position, you just walk your feet a little bit further in. You want your shoulders right over your elbows. And then you're just gonna take a little hop, that bent right leg, kick with your left. Maybe a couple kicks. And really press into your forearms, press up out of your shoulders, lift your feet toward the ceiling, hold, and then a gentle release. Come back into embryo pose to give your shoulders a break. And come all the way up. Last pose, we're gonna do shoulder stand. Might be very familiar with shoulder stand because it's a pretty commonly taught inversion in yoga classes. Um, you don't necessarily need the support of the wall, but I'm gonna show you how to get into it with the support of the wall. I'm just moving my yoga mat to the other wall so you can kind of see from this side. So go ahead, bring your hips toward your wall, and then bring your feet, your legs, up against the wall. So this is legs up the wall pose, real legs up the wall pose with the wall. But we're gonna come into shoulder stand. So extend your arms long, got kind of long arms so I'm touching the wall but no big deal. Just extend your arms long, place your feet flat to the, or your, yeah, your feet flat on the wall so that your legs are slightly bent but not all the way to 90 degrees and then start to roll up. So your hips come up. Okay, now from here, you're gonna start to lift your right leg straight up to the ceiling. Place your hands on your low back for support. And then bring your left leg to meet your right. Press your feet up and try to bring your ankles right over your hips. Keep your neck long so you're gazing up towards your toes. Hold here in shoulder, stand, or if you would like to experiment with plow pose, bring your legs one at a time down to the floor behind you. One last variation you can play with if you'd like. It's called deaf man's pose. You can bring your knees down towards your mat. Return to plow. Return to shoulder stand. Make your way back to the wall. Send your arms long and roll down. In the, ins in the spirit of inversions, Shavasana, legs up the wall. So keep your legs right where they are and just rest your arms alongside your body, but bring them out a little bit wider, palms face up. If this is um, too much tension on your hamstrings or your low back, you can bend your legs you do have uh, any insomnia, this is a great posture to practice before you go to bed at night. And again, it's an inversion, so you're reversing the flow of blood in your body. Close your eyes, breathe in. Big breath out your mouth. Come into a state of relaxation. And if this doesn't feel relaxing to you with your legs up the wall, just come into tr traditional shavasana.
if you have the time stay longer in your legs up the wall pose thanks so much for practicing with me today today as you go forward may you have peace in your thoughts peace in your words peace in your heart from my heart to yours namaste